Hey guys and welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial and this will be talking about saving camera angles in your scenes. So let's say you're happy with your project and you want to save this camera angle. Right now I'm in the isometric view. All I have to do to save this camera position is you go to where the zero is, press 7 to save the camera position, and if I press 8 you can see it hasn't done anything because I haven't moved the camera. But if I was to move the camera like that, for whatever reason, if I sneeze or my mouse twitches or something like that, I would just press 8 on the keyboard and it will bring it back to that saved position. That's very convenient because, for instance, if I was to zoom in like that to edit, say, this cabinet, I could just press 8 and it will zoom me back out like that. And in Magic of Voxel, you're not just restricted to one camera position. Let's say I wanted to get another camera position. Let me just click on this perspective camera view here. Zoom in. Turn it around like such. Zoom out a little bit. Go into render. And I say, that looks good. All I have to do to get another camera position is to go back here where it said zero. Highlight that. And then press in one. If you press enter, this cursor will still stay here, and you want to get rid of that cursor. So all you have to do to get rid of this cursor is to press on whatever highlighted camera you have. In this case, for me, it would be perspective, so I click on that. The cursor should go away. And like I did last time for the um, isometric camera angle, I would just press 7 to save this camera position. And if I press 8, it doesn't do anything because I haven't moved the camera yet. But for whatever reason, let's say I wanted to... Uh, edit this generator. If I was to zoom in here and do whatever I wanted to do and fix the, the generator, all I have to do to get back to the position I wanted to take a picture with is I just press 8 on the keyboard. You can see Magic of Voxel brought me back to that saved camera position. But Magic of Voxel also saved the camera position we had earlier with the isometric view. You can see if I hover over this number, on the bottom it says camera number pads 0 to 9. In Magic of Voxel you could save up to 10 camera angles using those numbers. So in uh, the isometric view it was saved in slot 0. So all I have to do to get to that isometric view is I hit uh, highlight this one, press 0, and then reselect the highlighted camera. In this case it's perspective. And then press 8 to bring me back to that isometric view. Again, let me just press in 1 to get to that other view we saw earlier. Press on this highlighted feature, and then press 8. You see, it brought me back to this saved camera position. And this saves you a lot of time, so you don't have to uh, always just finick around and try to get that camera position. It should be noted that although you could save camera positions in Magic of Voxel, if you close out of Magic of Voxel, those camera positions will not be there when you reopen it just take the tip right there. But other than that, happy building.